Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's that time again. It's that time to save your girl some money, okay? Y'all know how it go, y'all know how I do, okay? There's some new palettes that are coming out from Clarity Cosmetics. I think it's called the Mermaid Collection, okay? Um, and they are just absolutely gorgeous. They're gorgeous. There's three of them, all three of them. The color stories are really pretty but there is one, <laughs> one that is really calling my name. And I believe it's called the Lost Kingdom, okay? I will put the palette in the swatches right here so you can see what your girl is talking about. The Lost Kingdom, I'll show you guys the whole collection. I guess that they're coming out with the Mermaid Collection, all three palettes, but I can fight the urge for the other two, but that um, Lost Kingdom one with the purples and the teals, very common color story, one that I have in my collection already, I know, even some shades from Clarity themselves um, that I have that, you know, I could go ahead and just kind of dupe the vibes, scratch that itch. So I just felt the need that I needed to do this because when I tell you that I was getting ready to, to spend that 50. I was already planning on spending that 50. <laughs> That's what was happening. I'm like, you know what? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Knock it off. Chill out. Because I already feel myself getting back into that palette love, that palette vibe where I'm seeing a few things, you know, the ones that just came out from Cosmic Brushes that got me in a headlock. You know, I'm starting to see some other things that are making me want to start purchasing again. And y'all know, I don't need no eyeshadow. I don't. So, but the ones that really tug on me, I'm going to try to fight it. So, today we're going to go ahead, take a look at some palettes already in my collection. I'm not trying to dupe it shade for shade. We're not about to go through pull out singles and try and recreate the palette. I'm not doing that today because I actually have palettes that are similar enough or close enough to this palette to where it will definitely scratch that itch. As you can see, I created this eye look today to scratch that itch and I definitely did. <laughs> and I used two of the palettes that I'm going to be showing you guys today um, to kind of dupe the vibes to create this eye look. So that'll be at the end of the video. If you're curious, you can go ahead, hang out till the end, you know, see the palettes, hang out to the end, and then, you know, see how I created this look. But yeah, for my complexion, I'm actually testing out quite a few like new e.l.f. products and stuff that I bought. And y'all, I am impressed. <laughs> okay, I, I am impressed. And I'm kind of irritated that I hadn't been using elf products you know up until all this all this time up until this point because i'm like elf is doing a thing when i tell you your girl is glowing she is glowing on the complexion okay so anyway i got my little pigtails i'm chilling today you know ain't doing nothing ain't going nowhere just i needed to go ahead and just beat these eyes right quick so let's get into these palettes y'all the first one is one that I was at, let me scoop so that I can make sure you guys can see the palette and the swatches and then I could show the one that um, I have here. But the first one, I was actually kind of surprised when I was digging through my palettes and I was just like, you know, let me take a look at that Glam Light Scooby-Doo palette because I knew it kind of had like the same tones, same vibe. Okay, so just looking at this palette, it's like, I feel like it leans a little more blue with the, you know, shades that are in here as opposed to those teal shades, but I love this color story, okay? I love this as well. It gives the same jewel tone feel with the beautiful, like, purpley shades in here, and they're absolutely gorgeous. You know, these shadows are gorgeous. As you can see, I haven't even used it yet. So I'm not sure how this formula is. I know, you know, I ha typically have no problems with Glam Light shades, but I feel like this will definitely scratch that itch if you have this palette. Now the next palette I have is just kind of like looking at some shades from the purple side, or no, 
yeah from the purple side i have a couple palettes that are like just the teals just the purples so this one the fight club okay this one or flight club i should say from menagerie cosmetics i wanted this palette for so long you guys and i finally snagged it when it came back one time but the purples in here really really scratch that purple itch you know i feel like i'm kind of looking at the um the palette right now and the swatches and stuff and just looking at the palette here on my phone it's like those swatches go pretty deep they go pretty deep it looks like a really deep like navy blue shade a gorgeous uh burgundy plum shade or whatever but it still kind of gives you that feel of purples and stuff with pretty shimmers in there so this is a palette that I would probably combine with something like this. Now, this is actually from Clarity Cosmetics. <laughs> this one is the Evil Mermaid. And this one has like pretty blues, you know, some really pretty blue, teal type blues in here. And it even has a super deep, dark, plummy or eggplant purple in there. So although, you know, it's not like an exact match for that palette if you have these two palettes i feel like you could definitely scratch that itch and you know clarity shadows i really like them they're really pretty i love using them the shimmers are gorgeous and also menagerie has some really really nice shades so if you have those two palettes you're probably good okay now this palette here is one that just it's just full of gorgeous shades full of beautiful shades this one is from nomad this is the royal europe palette and you guys i look at this packaging packaging gorgeous but this palette has so many beautiful colors in here okay so many beautiful shades that it doesn't just hit on the pretty purples and teal type shades it has a lot of other colors in here that you could play with as well. You know, that gorgeous blue. This um, really is what a dual multi-chrome multi, multi -chrome shimmer. So for you guys, I don't know if you could see that. See those shifts in there? Let me see if I can get it. Oh, see? See those shifts in the shimmers? Look at the, the last row of shimmers. And you can see. See that? See them shifts in them colors? Oh, so pretty. But anyway, it has some gorgeous, you know, beautiful teal type shades. It also has beautiful purples and pinks in here. So I feel like with these gorgeous shades in here, if you wanted to play around with this palette, you can probably create a really pretty eye look, you know, using some gorgeous teal shades and gorgeous purple shades and create something similar if you want to save $50, okay? This palette, another one. This is the Michaela and Glam Night. <laughs> Glam Night. Michaela and Glam Light. Is this the first one or the pop two? I think this is the first one. I don't know, child. But this is one of the Michaela and Glam Light palettes. And this one pulls really, really pretty green. It has gorgeous purples in there. Now, this one is a lighter version of those shadows it doesn't quite go as deep and as dark and as you know grungy and you know all that good stuff but it still has the same type vibes you have a whole row of green teal type greens and then a whole row of beautiful purples you know and even some blues in here to play with if you wanted to and glam light has a lot of beautiful shimmers in their palettes as well so that's just an option not a complete dupe but still kind of you know duping the vibes this next one here is from beauty bay this is the book of magic now i have another beauty bay palette that actually really hits it on the mark for me and it's one of the palettes that i use to create this look today but this one here i feel like it just you know it touches on the same vibe touches on the same shades the beautiful teals beautiful purples it has some gorgeous blues in there it doesn't go quite as deep for that super dark deep teal and super dark deep blue and um, plummy shade, but still has the same vibe, keeps you in the same, you know, mindset of creating a very, very bold, colorful look. <laughs> it's so funny. It's been so long since I've created a look like this that it actually felt weird to me. I was like, girl... 
I, it's like I hadn't, I had gotten out of being used to seeing such heavy color and such, you know, a really dramatic eye look. As you can see, it's dramatic from everything. The crease, the inner corner, the liner, everything is pretty dramatic. But I love it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, I need to just start doing them more often again so I can get used to it. But child, in my old age, I had I done moved over to the neutral side, okay? Y'all know I love the cool tones and I love the brown tones. So anyway, this next palette here, gorgeous. This is actually from Clarity. I have several Clarity palettes in my collection because I do love their color stories, their packaging, their um, formula. And I, I happen to like super large eyeshadow pans. I know a lot of people don't because you're not going to use them, but I don't care if the eyeshadow pan is this small. I'm still not going to use it all, so it doesn't matter to me. I like the aesthetic of the large pans, so that, that really gets me. But this palette, which is the Bloom palette from Clarity, is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it has that same thing, the jewel tones, beautiful teals, blues, pinky purples. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I like the fact that it has this super deep, dark, like navy type blue in here. You know, this really pretty dark teal shade, gorgeous shimmers throughout. This shade is really gorgeous as well. That fits in with the theme of this palette. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> now, if you um, happen to have more of uh, drugstore palettes or more affordable palettes, not you know so many indie brands like i do because i love indie brands but more so than drugstore but i do have like some la girl palettes in my um collection that i refuse to get rid of um because there are very few how can i say drugstore palettes that i use and i just fall in love with so i don't tend to buy them and drugstore has gotten so expensive nowadays i'm like i may as well go buy you know, a palette that I know is going to work better. So anyway, this one here is what the LA Girl Hot Hot Heat, but I think they have like another name for these palettes and I can never find it. But anyway, so this palette, as you can see, it has a lot of neutrals in here, which is good because, you know, you might not want to do something as crazy as this. <laughs> you know, you might want to go in your crease with a neutral and just pop a little teal on the lid or pop a little you know purple on the lid so this palette here offers that you know gives you that option it doesn't go quite as deep it has the beautiful teals beautiful purples pinks and also some beautiful neutrals that you can play with if you're not as crazy you know with creating eye looks as i am you know you want to kind of tone it down a bit so this is a very nice affordable option if you have that in your collection already now this one has a lot of shades in it as well so it has other colors aside from the ones that are you know really speaking to me from this clarity palette and i feel like just looking at it because i'm looking at this palette um while i'm filming this video i'm looking at the swatches on my phone because it's just so beautiful <laughs> um and yeah it's like it's very looking at the palette itself maybe you wouldn't really um, notice how much blue is in there along with the teal, but even on the like purpley side, it's, it's very blue leaning. So anyway, but this palette is from P. Louise. <laughs> this one is called A Droplet of Magic um, from book, the Book of Spells. So this is one of the palettes that was part of that collection and it's a two-sided palette so this one has um you know on this side it has a really pretty like gray you know basic gray tones which i love cool tones right now but it has those beautiful gray tones but it also has those gorgeous teals beautiful beautiful and it has mattes and shimmers in there so that's pretty but also on the other side of this palette you get 
gorgeous purples and reds okay so you have both the teals and the purples but you also have a lot of other shades in here too to play around with if you wanted to mix it up so i just wanted to kind of add this in here because i know for me with the p louise palettes because they're so big and i have quite a few of them now um i forget what sh what colors and what shadows are in which palette so when i pulled this and looked at it i was like oh yeah they're 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 all in there you know we got some teals we got some purples it's, it's working out so if you have that good to go now these two last palettes i feel like were my absolute choices for duping this palette um because they just completely check the boxes and scratch the itches and all of that and it's the two palettes that i use to create my eye look today so the first one is this Terra Moon Cosmetics Cosmic Wanderer. Okay. Love this palette. It's so pretty. I don't know. It's just, I, I fell in love with it when I first saw it, obviously. And I, I'm still in love with it to this day. You know, if this palette were to drop today, I'd probably buy it today. So this palette, as you can see, gorgeous teal shades, the purples, pop of pink, has a really pretty, beautiful shimmer in there for the inner corner that kind of like shifts you know so it's really pretty but it has like the deep dark blue this really pretty deep dark purple gorgeous teals it's just uh it's it's chef's kiss <laughs> chef's kiss and then the last palette which is the other palette i used for this look today is my beauty bay age of opulence okay do y'all remember this palette Y'all remember when it came out and everybody was just going crazy over it, okay? And obviously, it's the jewel tones. You can see why, for sure, right? Beautiful teals, deep dark blue, beautiful purples. But this one also has this gorgeous, like, wine, beautiful purple wine shade in here that I feel like really pulls everything together for, you know, this palette to be a, a excellent um substitute for that palette if you really don't you know love it don't want to spend the 50 bucks you know trying to bear down on your collection then this one is really really good i really really love it it's beautiful <laughs> and you know it, it did the job for me today it scratched the itch all the burgundy purpley look that i wanted to put on my eyes it just it worked so uh, am I gonna buy that palette as of today? No. <laughs> uh, maybe if it goes on sale during the holidays for 50% off or something, maybe I'll grab it then. But do I need it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of have some fun like I normally do whenever I'm trying to talk myself out of buying something that I do not need, okay? um with you guys you know and kind of help you guys save some money too because i know you know a lot of times we fall in love with these palettes the same color story as all of us you know have the same palettes over and over and over again so we can help each other save some money and use what we have so anywho that's it if you'd like to see how i created this look there'll be a quick little tutorial on it right now